Hello, I hope you guys are doing fine. In this tutorial video, I'll be showing you how you can link your Deriv, that is your Deriv interface. You, you'll be able to create your Deriv MT5 account after watching this tutorial and uh, you'll also be able to use MT5 to trade. Binary traders, we are used with the options, but for today, that is for MT5, we'll be using the CFDs. So, the CFDs account are the ones that you can link with your MT5 and be able to trade using your MT5 application. For the options, these are the ones that binary traders use, the one that we use to trade uh, rise and fall, the digits market, um, all those kinds of markets that we trade on the options. Now, our concentration is here on MT5. Let's create together a standard account. But before we do that, I should explain the difference between a standard account, a financial account, and a swap-free account. For a standard account, it's only based on derived and financial instruments. But in short, on, on your standard account, you can only trade synthetics. The volatilities, the jumps, the boom and crash, only the synthetics are the ones that you can trade on your standard account. For your financial account, you can trade forex currencies and uh, and uh, the metals and other assets that are on the financial market. Like now, Euro, Euro USD, GPP, JPY, all those major and minor currencies, you can trade them using the financial market. For the swap free account, you can trade now all the assets that are that are on your standard account and uh, the ones that are on your financial account. So, what is happening is the swap free account has both standard and financials, and uh, that is why it's called a swap free account. For the zero spread account, what what, what normally happens here? The spread is zero, but uh, as per the moment, you can avoid this one. You'll be able to use it in the future. Now, let's go ahead and uh, open maybe a standard account or a financial account. Let's just do a financial account. Oh, no, a standard account because you guys are used to trading volatilities. Now, here I'll be prompted to enter my password, of which I'll do. I'll do enter my password like that and then add account i think i've forgotten my password let me try to populate another one mm -hmm. that one oh it's like i've forgotten my mt5 password now there we go so after opening that account will create you'll click on continue now, you'll either be supposed to top up or open. As per the moment, this is a demo. You cannot top up a demo. So, we click on open. And then now here, this is the interface where you'll find your login details. Your broker, your server, your login ID, and your password. The password that you've just created is the one that you use. That uh, you use when it, it comes to entering your password. Now, you can trade using your MT5 web that is from this interface or uh, you can use that is uh, MT5 Windows app if you have it. The Mac users, you can use this one. Linux, you use this pattern. But for us, for our case, we are using our web now that I was uh, illustrating this using my my windows application so we click on open and then a new tab will open so like that we will now be supposed to enter our password like that and then connect 
that is not the part.